Welcome back, cricket fans. Today's clash was a do-or-die moment in the Women's T20 World Cup as Bangladesh faced off against the West Indies in Sharjah. Both teams were fighting hard to keep their semi-final hopes alive, but it was the West Indies who came out on top. Let's break down the highlights, from Karishma Ramharak's deadly bowling to Hayley Matthews' commanding innings, and how Bangladesh's dreams took a massive hit. If you're a cricket enthusiast, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more updates like this. Bangladesh's rocky start Bangladesh struggled right from the start. Sent into bat, they faced a disastrous collapse, losing six wickets for just 27 runs. Openers Shathi Rani and Dilara Akhtar tried to build some momentum but couldn't withstand the pressure. Both fell early, with Ramharak's clever deliveries unsettling their line and rhythm. It was a tough watch, as Bangladesh's batting lineup couldn't recover from these early blows, leaving their hopes in a precarious position. Ramarak's magic with the ball. Karishma Ramarak was the hero of the day for the West Indies. Her incredible four-wicket haul brought Bangladesh's innings to a standstill. With each over, she seemed to find new ways to outsmart the batters. Her very first ball got Rani out, and in her second over, Dalara Akhtar's middle stump was exposed. Ramarak's ability to keep Bangladesh guessing kept the scoreboard low and ultimately proved to be a game-changer for the West Indies. Don't forget to subscribe for more analyses of stunning performances like this. Nigar Sultana's attempted comeback. While the Bangladeshi wickets kept falling, one batter tried to hold it all together. Nigar Sultana showed a fighting spirit, playing some bold shots and especially taking on leg spinner Afi Fletcher. But as wickets fell around her, her aggressive play slowed. Nigar managed to score a steady 39, but with no other batter standing firm, Bangladesh finished with a modest total of 103 for 8. Matthews leads, WI's chase. Chasing 104, Hayley Matthews led the charge for the West Indies. With every short ball Bangladesh bowled, Matthews was quick to punish, making their bowlers pay for any loose deliveries. She blazed her way to a quick 34 off 22 balls before Marufa Akhtar managed to send her back to the dugout. By then, West Indies were already well on their way to victory, needing just 49 more off 72 balls. Matthews' confidence and aggressive approach set the tone for the chase, leaving Bangladesh with little hope. Taylor and Dottin finished the job with Matthews gone. It was Stephanie Taylor and Deandra Dottin's turn to wrap things up. Taylor showed her experience, while Dottin added the finishing touches with a lightning-fast 19 off just seven balls. The West Indies comfortably chased down the target in only 12.5 overs, moving them to the top of Group B with their second win in three matches. This win keeps them firmly in the running for a semi-final spot. West Indies took a huge step forward today, staying alive in the race for the semi-finals with this dominant win over Bangladesh. Karishma Ramharak's bowling and Hayley Matthews's powerful batting display proved too much for Bangladesh, whose hopes are now hanging by a thread. Thank you for tuning in and remember to subscribe for more in-depth breakdowns and updates on the Women's T20 World Cup.